justice, no peace, no justice, peace, no justice. I've been politically active for about 25 years. I've worked within the systems, I've appealed to power, and what I realized is that I didn't want to do that anymore. I believe that us empowering ourselves to do things is going to make the change happen. Anarchy is not chaos. Anarchism is self-organization at its root. It's the belief that any of us can get together and make decisions, that we don't need to vote for people 3,000 miles away to tell us what to do in our neighborhoods. And all of these beliefs led me to take action in September of 2005. The damage here along the Gulf Coast is catastrophic. I've never seen anything in my life like this. This is life and death. There's just no doubt about it. I went to New Orleans to locate a friend and ended up co-founding one of the largest anarchist-inspired organizations in modern U.S. history. Creating the Common Ground Collective, we wanted to first rebuild infrastructure that had collapsed, and then begin building new infrastructure that had never existed, and then finally turn it all over to the community for local control. And to us, that was practical anarchy. We gutted houses, we opened clinics, we provided housing. We stopped illegal evictions. We did prisoner advocacy. We started community gardens. We ran free schools for children. Tell us what you need. On the ground relief. Community-based revolution was in the air. Everybody was in the streets. It, it was electric. The jubilation was always tempered because there was such extreme amounts of violence from the state. Volunteers were harassed. I was made to lay face down on the ground with, with guns pointed at my head. But the violence that we faced as volunteers was a sample of what residents had to face daily. Was it more important to go after looters? Or was it more important to feed people and get them to emergency care? They treat everybody from out of state like this. How are they going to ever get this place rebuilt? I mean, civil disobedience really underpinned everything that Common Ground did. The fact that we existed was against the laws of the state but we didn't care because the mission of what we were doing was way more important than the laws that the, that the state had put before us. Again, respirators reduce exposure, they do not eliminate it. You know, even as we were doing this, I could hear the, the, the tired old critics mantra over and over again. Well, without the state, who's gonna take out the garbage? Our answer is, we will. I'll take it out myself. My neighbor will take it out because we have vested interest in doing that. I believe that people can do amazing things given the chance to do it without coercion. I believe there is hope. People do care. So if I can leave you with anything, I want all of y'all to know, if I got a hero, Y'all my heroes! Black Flags and Windmills is my story of how we at the Common Ground Collective put anarchism into action.